Hey, Luna Lena here. Welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I want to talk about 10 things slim people do different in their life. People who have to carry a lot of excess weight, they usually have different habits than slim people. And from my experience as a nutritionist, and yeah, I see it every time, I see it every day, what they do different. And that's why I want to share it. And I thought it could help people who struggle with excess weight and they can adapt their lifestyle therefore. So let's go straight into these 10 things. But before we start, I want to mention that I always hear from people that they are not able to lose weight because it's in their family or they blame their genes or they think they have a slow metabolism or thyroid issues, what have you. And that's actually not true because i'm not saying you don't have these issues but what i'm saying here is that we as a human being we are humans and we are somehow built the same way all the same way and whether you have bad genes or not you can still achieve the body you want to have so in fact only 20 percent have to do with your genes and with your family background and whatever and the other 80 percent are up to you so it's lifestyle related we have it in our hands you can choose how you want to look if you adopt a right lifestyle then it's absolutely possible so yes that's my short introduction and now we are going to dive into these 10 things so the first thing is that people who are slim, they are well educated. So they read books about nutrition, they inform themselves, maybe they watch YouTube videos. They collect a lot of knowledge about nutrition, about healthy nutrition, about plant-based nutrition. And this is so important because once you have all the knowledge, no one can interrupt you and tell you something and you exactly know, no, it's not true, I know it it's like this so if you are educated even your doctor can tell you whatever he wants but you know the truth and this is so important to yeah just to continue with your healthy life because you know it's the right way and you know what is right and what is wrong and if you are not educated people can tell you everything and especially in social media there's so much wrong information going on and this is just a problem if you are not educated so first thing would be educate yourself buy some books about nutrition and i will also recommend some really good books in the description box below which you can check out and then buy and it's an investment in your health and you should really educate yourself so this is the first thing slim people do different. Then the second thing is self-love. Because if you don't love yourself, of course it's not important what do you put into your body. For example, if you are eating junk food all the time because you just don't care about your body and you just don't care about your health, you think you are not worthy and therefore it's totally indifferent to you what is going into your body. But if you instead love yourself and appreciate your body with all your individualities and if you really love your body, if you really love yourself, then it's impossible to put crap into your body. Because you want to be healthy, you want to be the best version of yourself, you want to honor your body, you want to treat it like a temple and then it's impossible to put junk food into your body. So this is the second thing slim people do different. The third thing is quality and quantity. Slim people often do care about quality, but not so much about quantity. So for example, if you go to a all you can eat buffet and then slim people think, okay, what's the point? I can eat everything I want, but if it's not healthy, it's useless. And then I would rather choose to eat smaller portion sizes with high quality fruits and vegetables and all the minerals, vitamins, nutrients 
you actually need in order to feel satiated and full afterwards and in order to feel your best and to be in best shape and to be actually healthy. So concentrate on quality and not on quantity because you can eat as much as you like as long as it's junk food and unhealthy it will not bring you where you want to be. Then the fourth thing slim people do different is they have a healthy gut microbiome and this is due to their nutrition because if you eat junk food of course you will develop um, imbalance in your gut bacteria and therefore your gut microbiome will not be healthy and will always constantly throw out signals to you that you want to have more junk food. So the bacteria in your gut are essential if you want to stop cravings. Then the fifth thing people do different, slim people do different, is they do not focus on numbers so much. They don't step onto the scale every day and freak out if there is one gram more or less. And they don't count calories usually and they don't track their nutrition all day. So they just eat because they know what they are eating is healthy and it's nourishing. And there is no way you can gain weight if you eat a proper plant-based diet. So there is no need to count calories. There is no need to step onto the scale every day because you know you are treating your body right and if you consume a human diet so fruits vegetables small amounts of nuts and seeds there's really no need to count calories and to step onto a scale each and every day and maybe in the beginning if you start out or just transforming to a raw vegan or vegan or plant-based lifestyle then it's maybe helpful to track your calories in order to know if you actually eat enough but then after a while you will you will feel it you will exactly know how much you can eat and should eat then the sixth thing slim people do different is they have a breakfast every single day and they don't skip it because if you skip breakfast it's most likely you will binge out in the evening or later in the day and of course, in the morning you are fine. You think, oh, I skip breakfast. I can save calories and I will lose weight if I do it consistently. But it's not like this because most people, if they skip breakfast, they will have severe cravings in the evening, in the night. And then for dinner, they binge out. They have pizza and pasta and what have you burgers whatever they eat just everything because they are so extremely hungry because they were starving all day long and this is absolutely senseless so eat your breakfast every day and then your body will have to signal okay i am well nourished i have my vitamins i have everything i need i don't need to crave unhealthy junk food and then you can continue your day with healthy food so if you do it every day you will have consistency and you will see results then the next thing that slim people do different are diets they don't do crash diets because they just don't need it and if you do diets all the time you will have the yo-yo effect yo-yoing effect so you do a diet you lose weight you go back to your old unhealthy lifestyle, you will gain even more weight and so on. So if you try one diet after the other, you should stop it. Really stop dieting. This is not helpful at all. Then my next point is drinking calories. Slim people usually don't drink their calories, they only eat their calories. So if you eat your food and additional to your meals, to your actual food, you consume like coffee with cream or milk and tons of sugar. You consume um, soda, you consume alcohol, which is really high in calories as well. Then, of course, you will gain weight. And slim people, I always see it, they drink water or tea. It's just the best solution, just the best thing you can drink. And then you can eat your calories <laughs> and not drink them, which 
leaves you still hungry and you have all these excess calories. It's unnecessary and will not help you to get into your best shape. <laughs> then the next thing is snacking. Slim people usually have their meals like breakfast, lunch and dinner or whatever and in between they don't snack because they are satiated and they are full and they are filled with nutrients and this lasts for hours. So if you eat the right food like fruits and vegetables you will not crave food in between your meals. You will feel satiated from one meal to the other and this is huge because if you are snacking all the time in between your meals then of course again it's easy to gain weight. So stop snacking. And the last thing is movement. And this has also to do with the gut microbiome because if you are healthy and your gut microbiome is in balance then you will have so much energy and <laughs> you just have to use it. You know if you have all the energy and you have the desire to move your body it's great. It's really also helpful to not gain weight because if you're always active and full of energy you just want to move your body it's a desire it's it's fun you know and it's not a thing you have to do or oh no i have to do my workout now in order to burn this amount of calories you know? oh no i binged out last night i have to go to the stairmaster today no it's not like this you do your movement, you do your fitness routine because it's fun and because you have to desire to move. This is so important and this is also a game changer if you want to stay slim and healthy without putting any effort in it. Yeah, so you see all the 10 reasons, all the 10 things usually slim people do are lifestyle related. So it's, it has nothing to do with your family background, your genes or whatever. You can change it, you can take it in your own hand and you will see amazing benefits. That's what I can promise and that's what I see all the time with my clients, with my coaching clients. And if they do the things properly, if they have the right meal plan on hand, it works. It actually really works well. So if you want to change your life as well and if you need a little bit of support because you are not sure where to start how to start just contact me and i will help you for sure and i will also leave a link in the description box below where you can find all my ebooks and they are so helpful as well i have great feedback um, i have meal plans i have tons of recipes there and in general so much knowledge about plant-based vegan or raw vegan lifestyle and it will help you so much to lose weight and to get in the best shape of your life. So I hope this video was kind of helpful and I also hope to see you in my next video as well. So until then, so much love and peace out. Bye guys.